Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk how to customize the CPU for uh, uh, SCF calculation using Win2K and how to use parallel calculation uh, in Win2K. So let's start. I have a system generated, uh, the structure generated here. So this is the structure of the system. I will use this structure to show how to use uh, or customize uh, the dot machine file for parallel calculation. So let's first uh, initialize the structure for SCF calculation. Okay, okay, it's done. Now let's go to the run SCF. So I'm now in run SCF. You can see here there is an option. Uh, parallel at the top so for doing the parallel calculation you need to click this one now let's see the user manual for details of the uh, procedure so you can see this 5.5 uh, section running parallel program it says that for parallel uh, calculation you need to edit the dot machine file and how many threads you like to use that can also be uh, edited in uh, using the, this value omp num threads value in the dot bash uh, rc or csh rc file so let's first find what is the value used for this one for that, uh, what I will do, I will use a script. That script is available in my site. The link of the site uh, is in the description box of the video. So this is the script um, here to change OMP num threads value. So I have saved the script in the win2k this folder. So I will run this. First, I will run this to it will only show. Now what is the value let's put c for check so it says that i in my cpu there are 12 threads and uh, i have used the value 6. now let's i want to use i want to do a parallel calculation so for that i need to edit the dot machine file so we'll click on the utilities now in the utilities you will find that there is a edit dot machine this if you click here now you, you can see here there are two lines of this that means if i save this it will use two parallel calculation and for both of them it will use six uh, threads but i have only total 12 threads so all of my threads will be used so i want to change this to be four uh, so that i can use two uh, parallel calculation uh, there is two k parallel computation and i will still have some cores left so to change this i will only run this uh, script without the c option so if i run this it says again these all these things and it asks me what is the value i want to use now remember here you can use uh, as many as you like but in using more than eight cores that will not increase the performance i mean uh, depending on the system this is what actually it is it says uh, and if you read the um, user manual it says that two cores are excellent and four cores are very good so then more than eight cores you may not get much improvement this so i will use four cores you may use whatever core you like depending how many cores you have so uh, if i use four I will use four then it will ask whether i approve it or not i'll say yes now it says me to run this one and i need to run w2f again because it stops the w2f okay now it's ready so if i uh, so i have this one now let's go to the dot machine again so i will use two parallel calculation for each of them it will use four threads so i'll save it now let's go to the run scf option so i have to check this parallel calculation box then let's start so you can see now the 
minus p uh, flag is here that means it's using parallel calculation so this is running let us check how many cores are used so for that i will use this top minus i minus n one common okay yes, i just need little bit more space for that now you can see so lapw two lapw are running and they are using 387 percent of cpu that means almost four cpu so if i run it again it, this is 400 that is four cpu threads are used now if you can also see this and a stop uh, okay they are coming back so you can see now uh, you can see from here also how many cores are used how many threads you have available this also shows how many uh, memories are being used for the total uh, system not only the, for the calculation so this is one way uh, sorry so this is one way of showing how many cores are used let's reload other yeah it's still running okay so this is again the showing that how many threads are used now i want to stop the calculation so i will use here stop scf if i click here then it will stop now let's go to studio right so the scf calculation has stopped because of the stop file so this is how you can customize uh, you can uh, uh, decide how many threads you want to use and how many parallel computation you want to use and this also depends on the uh, system also because for a small system if I, let's look at this system so i see on the test so you can see from here that the calculation doesn't take too much for each cycle it only takes about 12 seconds for first cycle it is at uh, 14 17 24 the next one is 14 17 38 or uh, just 16 seconds like this uh, uh, yes 14 seconds so the next one is about uh, 12 seconds so this is how it time it time it takes time but for a still is a small system this will not benefit the parallelization will not benefit you because in doing parallelization there is also time requirement for splitting the jobs so in that case uh, you have to check and you have to decide uh, for it depending on your system now i'll show you another way of uh, for running the scf uh, for customizing the machine file or deciding how many threads you want to use as you can see that uh, i have uh, 12 uh, threads and i have used four threads let's say i don't want to uh, change this global setting i want to customize this for my uh, for each calculation say you have uh, more than 30 or something uh, course and you want to you are you want to do several calculations at the same time for that you can also uh, change here also so you can overwrite the global setting writing this one removing the hash here and you can decide here how many threads you want to use for each of this local host uh, setting that means here you have two lines of local host that means it, it will split into uh, it will do two parallel calculations at the same time now this is actually says the how many threads you want to use say i want to use it five threads and uh, okay let's i want to use two threads and i want to increase this and right, for several this is so i am using now four of them and i am using for each of them it will use two threads overwriting the global setting that is in bash scr file so let's save this one and if i run now the scf file i will run anyway with parallel flag start so it is started now let's Okay, let's ignore the uh, only this one. Okay, it's fine. Now you can see this is using four LAPW. Okay, it's updated. Uh, I think that will be better to keep this. 
yes you can see now four of them lapw1 use and the, the first one is using 200 that is two cpu core this is 193 percent that means uh, almost two cpu core so if i uh, now this is running mix here so okay let's go back here again you can see so this shows actually now it says you can see as uh, says all all are using every uh, lapw1 using two cores so this is how you can customize and you can decide how many cores you want to use so i want to use the i want to stop the calculation you see this this will stop the calculation actually yes uh, okay the calculation has converged before i put the stop file so i will remove one now i want to show you one more thing uh, about my script for mbj calculation so if you have seen this video the cal uh, a safe calculation for mbj potential there i use the pot uh, script to run the mbj potential the script detects whether you have uh, you are using dot machine file for parallel calculation or not so if you run that mbj file now it asks first uh, whether i have saved it let's say i have saved it because i don't need this calculation so accept this below. now it's uh, okay now it says this do you like to do parallel calculation if you like to do parallel cal calculation you say yes if you don't like to do parallel calculation you say no then it will remove the machine file and it will use the global setting that is used in uh, this file and the, this value okay let's just stop here now there is one more thing about uh, using the calculation because i have shown you here it shows that uh, if you use a stop it shows what is the memory is is used now you there is a one thing with the linux setting that it goes to swap it is to swap when uh, the certain amount of ram is used i have a video though this is in bengali but i have the description here so if you read this you will find how to customize that one so if you say let's check for what it says So you can see now in my setting it says whenever uh, I have 40% uh, RAM that is 60% of the RAM is used then uh, it will use it will take space from swap uh, but if you have a large RAM so for in my case I have only uh, 8 GB the 7.47 that's why I kept it 40 but if you want to customize it you need to edit this uh, uh, cclt config file so to do so um, let's turn this it is asking for the password now you can see there is a line at the bottom this uh, this says this value actually i have added this usually in your file if you didn't add it you won't find any line here this actually adds to change the default value if i don't put any line here if i remove this one now if i save and restart the machine it will the value will be 60 here that means uh, only 40% uh, after using the 40% of the ram it will start to take space from swap but if i want to make it uh, so that uh, it will use uh, whenever it has only 20% of the ram left then it uh, they will use from the uh, swap so i will keep it safe and after doing so now to take a immediate uh, uh, effect you need to run this line now if you see uh, sorry so it says the 20 you can customize this value as you like depending how what are uh, what is the space or ram you have uh, so uh, I hope uh, you will be benefited from this. There are several videos also in my site. You can watch them also. They may also be helpful. That's all for today. Thank you.